Big Dog of Ireland, Gentle Giant, Irish Hound, and Greyhound of Ireland. There are the nicknames given to this magnificent dog. We have a different breed today than before. The Irish Wolfhound. The history of the Irish Wolfhound stretches back centuries to the birth of trade between the British Empire and the Middle East. Dogs native to Britain were bred with Middle Eastern hounds that had been bartered. One of the earliest accounts of the breed is from a Roman consul who in the year 391 described seven majestic Irish hounds he received as a gift. People used the large hounds to hunt big game and in the 15th century they were put to work in hunting the overpopulation of wolves in Ireland. In fact, they were such effective hunters that the wolves were hunted to extinction. And consequently, the wolfhound breed almost died out because it hard served its purpose. The American Kennel Club first recognized the Irish wolfhound in 1897. Irish wolfhounds are generally friendly and affectionate dogs despite their large size. They are typically easygoing and quiet and can be good around kids with proper training and socialization. They need lots of space to exercise their large bodies, but their energy level is moderate. They are large dogs that need at least an hour of exercise each day. They enjoy long walks, hikes, and running. They can also participate in dog sports such as tracking and agility. However, they are sighthounds and their prey drive can kick in at any time. So, it's the best to only let them run free in an enclosed space. When properly exercised, Irish wolfhounds are usually quite docile in the house. Irish wolfhounds shed a moderate amount of fur throughout the year, but don't have seasonal period of higher shedding. Brush your dog's fur at least weekly and bath it every one or two months. Check the ears weekly, nails monthly, and brush the teeth daily. They typically do well with training because they are attentive to their owners. However, don't become lax in your lessons or you'll have a very large and dominant dog on your hands. Make sure to instill clear obedience lessons in your hound from puppyhood and socialize it well for a balanced and amicable animal. Aim to expose your dog to different people and varying situations from as young of an age as possible to instill comfort and confidence. And always use positive training methods. Harsh corrections and bad experiences can cause these sensitive dogs to shut down and not learn. Irish wolfhounds are generally healthy, but they can suffer from some hereditary health issues including bloat, heart disease, cancer, liver shunt, pneumonia, hip and elbow dysplasia and eye issues. Irish wolfhounds require fresh water and a diet specifically formulated for large breeds. It's recommended to feed them two measured meals per day. Treats and extra food should be limited to prevent obesity and joint stress. Irish wolfhounds are also at risk of blood and stomach twists, so it's important to avoid feeding them too quickly and to restrict their activity after meal. That was a weird breed, huh? What breed do you think it should be compared to in a video to show its weirdness? Would a Scottish Deerhound be good? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.